What's up, my cyber fans? My name is Remy Kirubo, and welcome to another Cyber Thursday, episode 2. The Q&A where you ask your questions, and I answer them in these type of videos. You know, just as a quick update for you guys, I have a couple. As you may have known, in uh, Hyper Hob uh, Kucha Hyper's Happy Hyper Sunday, and most recently, Wolf Brothers Wednesdays by Fro uh, Frost and Fists, it was my birthday, the 12th of March, which was three days ago, and I'm, I am the age of 20, so thank you guys so much for making this the awesomest birthday, awesomest. I would like to thank my mom and my dad for actually birthing me on that day. Ew, gross. Anyways. I would like to thank my friends over at Frost and Fists. By the way, everyone's channel will be down in the description below. So, I would like to thank my awesome friends at Frost and Fists, Freak and Mythos, for my little birthday shout outs. I would like to thank my awesome fiance, Kujahaiva, for his little happy birthday. Thank you so much. And I would like to thank my other friends of Darklight Dreamer and Richard of Tattoo For You for my little singing happy birthdays. They, they were awesome. I loved it. So thank you for everyone who did wish me a happy birthday. And I have a new channel to shout out. And that is Pewterbox. Is that, did I pronounce that right? Yeah. Pewterbox. Now... Mark, Mark of Kuja Hyra actually introduced me to you, and I watched your live stream, and it was awesome. You were funny, so I will link your channel in the description below. Check out his channel, cause he is awesomely funny, and congratulations on the little girl. So hopefully she pops out sometime, sometime soon. Keep us updated. Anywho, so so make sure you give Pewter Bo Pewter Box some love, and go yeah check out his channel. He does horrors as I know of. He also does live streams of Alien. Is an is an Alien game. Alien Isolation. That was it. Alien Isolation. Thank you. Alien Isolation. I really enjoyed it. So make sure you give him some love. And go to his channel down below. Anywho, it's enough here of... Oh, actually, one more update. And that will be... I have moved around my dolls and moved around my desk. So hopefully you get to see more of these pretty lovelinesses. And see more actually go to the wall. And less of a doll sporadically going in any places. So it's a lot more organised. So you guys can see what dolls... I do have, there are some at the bottom there, but that's for another vlog. For now, it's enough about my updates, and what I'll tell you again to see your questions. So, Frost and Fists, Freak, asks, awesome Q&A, you should definitely put more time onto your dolls, and the talent is quite, oh, you definitely put, put in a lot of time on, on your dolls, and the talent is quite apparent. Thank you. A question for the week. What is what cute little habits you and Kuja do that in that annoy each other? Wow, good question. There's a lot of things that there's a lot of little habits that annoy <laughs> that annoy each other. Um I would go I'll start off with the, the habits that I know I do that sometimes annoy Mark annoys Mark. But the habits I the habit that I normally do did or still do is every time he would say hey baby can i ask you a question i would go answer it normally annoyed the absolute shit out of him because you know you, you don't expect someone to say answer but it's, it's kind of like saying yeah well, well you know, what do you need it's just like you know i'll give you an answer um but that, that's what I knew. Well, that's the only habits that I personally know that I do. If you ask that question over onto Hyper Hobby Sunday, he'll probably say a lot more yeah, than I will say on here. Because <laughs> I don't know many habits that I do that 
Anyway, Mark, I only know the um, the question and answer thing. So, um, the now the habits that Kuja does that annoy the crap out of me. Right, as you know, yeah, we say things a lot differently to you guys over in America. So, you know, we say thing. Well, obviously we both say things, but you know, we pronounce things. Think. Now the ha habit that Mark has. He put, likes to put an F in front of things. So, like, things and thanks. It annoys the crap out of me because there's a TH, not an F. <laughs> so, you've always, obviously noticed here when he does talk to you guys on Skype that every time he will go, oh, thank you. It's thank you. It annoys the crap out of me. I, I'll tell you that. And it, it's it's like the th in front of that. It's not an F. And there are other habits that I I I would like to say, but I won't since it's not going to be fair. Yes, since I already said one habit about me. So <laughs> if you want to know more about no no no, it's fine. You know, it, you know, if you want to know more about the, probably, I have probably a lot of habits that I do that annoy Mark. Ask that question on Hyper Hobby Sundays. So. <laughs> uh, thank you for your question, Freak. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Next question. Dark Light Dreamer. Hey, dude. A uh, great Q&A, my friend. Thank you. Uh, I could tell you were a bit, you were a bit nervous, so, because you were talking really fast at parts, but you'll get more comfortable over time, probably will, but, it, it's quite nerve-wracking, it's like you're talking to a lot of people over the screen. It's quite scary! Uh, thanks for answering my question, you're welcome. For next time, do you have any heroes or heroines or video game characters that, characters that really inspire you? I have a lot. But I would do one of the types of heroes, so either heroes, heroines, or video game characters that inspire me. So I'm gonna go my the hero that normally inspires that pretty much inspires me to kind of actually no, you know what? Scratch that. Video game characters. Um, I should have thought about this before answering this question. Hmm. It's a good question, actually. Um, I have movie characters, like, you know, like uh, TV characters, that would really inspire you, but uh, video game characters, hmm. That's difficult. Actually, yes, I do have it. Right. The ones that really, the one video game character that really kind of inspires me would be it was uh uh yuna from final fantasy 10. now yuna is it yuna yeah okay just to make sure uh, it'll be yuna from final fantasy 10. now the reason why is because she's a strong she pretty much she she's like this kind of delicate type of flower but she could deal some damage and I don't know what it is about Yuna that really kind of it's it she inspires me to kind of still be that be soft, kind and caring and not always, you know, kind of bring out that badass type of character. You know, and um it pretty much um actually if as you know at the end of Final Fantasy Ten you know, obviously as you know, Titus, you know, says if you ever need me, whistle. And, you know, he showed her how to rest her, and at the end of Final Fantasy X, that's what she does. And she would keep, and she kept doing that. She didn't just give up after waiting, a, after whistling, waiting a while. She didn't just give up. She continued on. And that kind of, I mean, it's, it's a really sad scene, but it's something that I can significate to of don't give up, no matter... If somebody come, if somebody comes to you or not, no, just keep trying. You know, don't give up after once. Don't give up ever. Just keep trying. 
you know, and I, I, I really like, I really love Yuna. You know, she, she's very soft spoken, but she, she can also do some damage as well. Um, so that's the one video ca game character, um, that really inspires you. I'm gonna cheat here. I don't really have any heroes or heroines, but if I could cheat here, my hero would that really inspires me. It's actually a real life hero. I have a hero and heroine. I mean, it will be Mark. I'm gonna cheat here. Okay, now, Kujahira is not specifically a like you know DC hero and whatnot, but you know, my hero of the pick will be Mark because Mark came to me at the right time. And Mark doesn't give up no matter how much it goes wrong. No, this is all the sense of you know not giving up, and he also he will encourage me to do things a little bit out of my comfort zone. You know he will encourage me and stuff like that. And you know he I class him as my hero, and I love him to bits. Uh, my heroine, my mom, she's been through crap and back. But she is still here and still kicking. You know, all these cat, all, you know, Mark, my mum, and, you know, video game, and Yuna, um, they all have a significant thing that kind of comes back onto one topic. That they never gave up. They never gave up after one try. They always kept going, they always kept fighting. And that's why, that, that, that's why these, these people are awesomely, Awesome, but if I was to stick it to the original question, um, it will be Yuna from Final Fantasy X. So, thank you for your question. I know it was a very long answer, but um, thank you for your question. And I, I, I look forward to your next um, Resident Evil 7 playthrough and Outlast. Keep doing that, my friend. Thank you for your question. N okay. I did, okay, just before I continue, I did miss... A question from the first episode. I do apologize, Nick. I will answer it this week. The question is from Eric Beer 40k. Hey, dude. What paints do you use to paint the dolls? Now, for my repaints, I think I maybe have answered this in a previous episode, like a previous kind of um, um a review. But I use the good old classic Citadel paints. I use the Citadel paints. Because of the fact they have so much pigment in it, and you know, one little top of this, you can do like I don't know, pfft, ten, twenty dolls. You know, and it's 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 awesome. It's it's quite awesome. So I I like these paints, um, and they're quite affordable as well. And, you know, you get a lot for your money. So I use Citadel paints. Answer your question, my Sarah. Thank you for your question, Eric Bear. Sorry for not answering it last week. Um, next question comes to us by Tattoo for You. Hey Richard! And it says, awesome Q&A, homie. Love the intro too. Thank you, I, I, I really enjoy the intro. Yo, thank you to Freak who actually did the, um, music for the intro. And thank you to Kujahiro who actually did the actual entrance. You know, the actual animation of the intro, so... Thanks to them too, I wouldn't even have an intro. So, um, um, who who is your favorite superhero, and who makes the best sweets around you? Um, I'm gonna answer the first one and the second one. So, who is my favorite superhero? My favorite superhero. I'm gonna go to Marvel. My favourite superhero in Marvel will have to be Deadpool. <laughs> I love Deadpool. He's he has a heart, but he's sick and twisted at the same time. And he's amazingly epic. So I love Deadpool. Deadpool's my favourite. Um if I was to go DC superheroes, it would have to be Batman. Who doesn't love Batman? Nothing more, nothing said, just Batman. Uh, second question. Uh, who makes the best sweets around you? I mean, we don't, okay. In England, we don't normally have, like, like a shop that makes sweet, that makes sweet or candies or something, something like that. But, um, the best 
the bet my the be, who makes the best sweets has to be a brand called Bertie Bassett. And pretty much um they do he does like, you know, that particular brand of sweets, he does stuff like licorice uh, pretty much licorice. So I like um licorice all sorts and that's probably one of my favourites. Um I mean, we don't really have somebody who makes sweets. We don't just just buy it. But um, if I was to go, you know, a buying sweet, it would be Bow Bassett, and it's amazing. I'm probably forgetting one, but I'll, I'll I'll probably do it on another update. So, but thank you for your question, Richard. I. Keep going with the push-ups and the exercises, dude. You're doing very well. Uh, if you haven't already, give Richard and give Richard a tattoo for you some love. Also, give family sessions. I will link their chat. I will link her channel into the description below. It's a very cool channel. I love it, and it it pretty much lightens me up here when I am having a bad day. So subscribe to them too. Um, I have a few. From uh, Frosted Fist's Mythos, including the Wolf Father Wednesday question. So, Frosted Fist Mythos uh, fantastic, says, Fantastic video, my friend. I enjoyed your answers. You're very welcome, and I'm glad you do. <laughs> uh, for next time, what are some of your favorite ways to relax, and what is, what is your favorite color? Much love, my friend. Much love to you, my friend. Um... What is what are some of my favorite ways to relax? I like to I okay. This might have been might be really strange, but I like to relax by drawing. I like to relax by reading. I like to relax by listening to creepy pastas. <laughs> if you know what creepy pastas are, type them in into the good old place called YouTube and Listen to some of them. They're, they're really interesting to listen to, and since I am, and it gives me like, some ideas of what I could paint my dolls. Also, painting, repainting my dolls is another thing I find very relaxing. It's very, very therapeutic. Apart from when I have to open the acetone, it doesn't get more therapeutic. It doesn't get more therapeutic than that. Um, but normally it's drawing, writing. I normally write um, poems every so often. But it's draw the favorite ways of relaxing would be drawing, listening to creep process, reading, and repainting the one thing that is surrounding me, and that's repainting my dolls. Uh, what is my favorite color? I thought it would have been obvious by now. <laughs> my favorite color is green. It's not not just any green. It's um bright, luminous green. I I love green. It it goes it goes with white. It goes with black. What more can I say? So my favorite color is green. Um, answering your Wolf Brother Wednesday's uh, question, which is, what is the most offensive thing someone has done in your hobby? Um, there's a lot. Um, not keeping to the original plans of the characters. Now. There's a person on YouTube, I'm not going to name any names, but um, I was typing in FNAF, Five Nights at Freddy's Dolls, to see if anyone else did it. And there was there was no effort put into those dolls. And they pretty much just bought new dolls, pretty much it looked like it just vomited on it and called it a doll. And that, that it's very offensive when someone just wibbly dibbly dabbly just... Yeah, you know, oh, puts paint on a doll. Goes, oh yeah, it's repainted. It, it do if you're gonna repaint a doll, you know, repaint a doll. <laughs> Don't just splash like paint everywhere and call it a repaint. That, that's not a repaint. Um, another thing is um, trying. Another person was trying to bleach doll hair. Using actual real life bleach. Yeah. I I are you a moron? Ugh it's 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 
there's there's a lot of things that people do in my hobby that it, it, it's 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 beyond offensive. But that, that's that's some of the couple of things that you know just it it's just beyond offensive, you know. So, anyways, on that note, um, check out the channels in the link below. Also, don't don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Always helps, and I love the comment. I love reading the comments that you guys put down into this little lovely thing called the comment section. Um, I love reading what you have to say. Um, to be honest, you could give me hit. You could give me tips. You know, like, you know, if, you know, I do an overview, you go, oh, you know, maybe next time you should do this, 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 but keep it, keep it nice, keep it less harsh. But, um, I, I look, I do look for constructive criticism in my repainting of dolls. So, if you have any questions, go yeah, down to the comment section below if you want to subscribe to any of the people that I have mentioned in this video and also my previous videos as well they're all in the description below also like my Facebook page of Kiwi Dolls that is also in the, in the description below don't forget to like this video as well I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and I'll see you in the next Donnie video or the next Q&A stay plastic